Corey, just in general, what are your what are your thoughts right now? Um, just just disappointed, man. I'm I'm sick for the guys. Obviously, uh, you know we definitely wanted a a better result, but you know that's uh, yeah, man, shitty game plan. That's on uh, that's on my shoulders. So I'm just sick for the guys. If I mean, I realize it's early, but can you put in perspective when you this season and some of the progressive or many of the progressive steps that were taken to, to get to this point? No, I mean that's that's the, the at least the thing we shared together was just uh, year one of what we are trying to establish here. Um, those guys put total faith and trust in, in us as a staff and the vision of what we had and the leadership group. Um, uh, there was multiple chances and times throughout the season uh, they could have just folded tent um, not once did they ever so extremely proud of them um, uh, tons of gratitude to them uh, the sacrifice that they put into to really build a vision of what we what we want this to be so um, that's probably the number one thing Corey, can you just go over the decision to go for it on the third down there and that didn't work out and the Bombers got up by a couple few possessions there? Yeah, risky. You know, obviously, uh, uh, I just felt at that time, you know, we hadn't really gotten into a groove. Um, and uh, it was just time to hit the gas for us to try to build momentum. Um, you know, obviously, looking back, you wish that you had nailed it, you know, and we didn't. It put us in a jam, but uh, um, yeah, man, I thought I thought we needed to build the momentum um, and having faith in those guys. And if we could go back, you know, I'd probably still do it. To be honest with you, I got faith in those guys, and Seven's got the hand in his ball or the ball in his hands. Excuse me, I got nothing but faith in that. So. Just didn't turn out our way. Credit to the team. Uh, the Bombers, they came ready to play, man. So, tough one. What are these moments like for a team when they deal with the heartbreak as now we up, you start looking forward now? Yeah, it's just uh, still trying to stomach it, to be honest with you. It's just it's a crappy feeling. Uh, man, you just uh, – so much goes into it. And, you know, obviously – you know, next week someone's going to have this same feeling. Um, uh, it doesn't make it any easier, though. I just, uh, I'm sick for those guys. I just feel like they deserve better. Uh, you know, I, I got to do a better job getting ready to rock. What did, uh, what did maybe you learn in this kind of playoff run your first time as a head coach? Um, I'd say probably just the main thing, you know, uh, Coming into uh, coming into this week, you know, I felt very confident um, in our game plan defensively. Um, you know, but there was maybe a few things. You know, I try to play it patient on on defense instead of you know hitting uh, maybe hitting the button a little bit more to force the issue. Um, but in the same time, you know. Those boys were on a roll. You know, that could have ended in a big play as well. But at some point, it's like, you know, you don't want to have the slow death either. So um, I think just uh, maybe just forcing the issue a little bit when it's winter go home. Yeah. And just last quick one for me, just what was the decision to go with Amari Henderson down the stretch instead of Deontay Williams? You kind of were, they they were in and out of the lineup all season. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, both, both good players, both have made some plays for us. Uh, you know, from a coverage aspect, you know, Amari does a really good job um, in communication and, and reading the zones and knowing when to lift coverages. Um, you know, Tay's also it's been productive, ball production and uh, good tackler. It's just, you know, we go through the checklist of, of what we uh, wanted to roll with, and that was a decision we made, man. So, um, you know, and there was a couple other guys that didn't get to play tonight, which it sucks because you, you think they can help you as well. So um, no discredit to any of those guys who didn't get the nod. Um, the decision was made the way that I made it, and um, we'll push forward, always trying to field the best players that we feel like we give us the best chance to win. So. 
Coach uh, Josh Fry, I'm with the Winnipeg Free Press. I, sorry if you're asked this already, but just curious, was there anything, what was Winnipeg doing so well on offense to, whether it was scheming Kenny open or why was Kenny able to get open so many times in this one? Yeah, you know, um, obviously with what they're able to do offensively with Brady, um, any play fakes, uh, you know, you got to respect it. Um, they run good Sally concepts. Uh, RPO, so to speak, where the quicks are coming out. You know, you have to respect those as well. Um, and then, you know, next thing you know, it's not quick. It's a play pass, and it's up top, right? So, it does. They do a good job playing with um, uh, playing with defenders' eyes. Um, and then, you know, in a situation like tonight, when you know they really they had their way through the air and on the ground, um, it puts you in a, it puts you in a jam, man. So, um, no doubt, uh, definitely. You know, when we look at the tape. They're going to be busts on there for sure, but um, I don't care. That's that's on me. So I got to get I got to get them better prepared for that. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you, Corey. How would you describe, you know, your first year as a head coach with, with this group? Um, it meant everything to me personally. Uh, just the vision of, um, you know, what it would look like. Um, surrounding myself with with people who I trust and I love, I care about growing the relationships with uh, those men in the locker room, people in the organization. It's been fantastic. That's why this sucks. Um, but we'll grow as a team. Um, you know, I'll I'll grow as a coach. Um, a lot of us will be better for it. Uh, there's a lot of people who are sick right now in that locker room. Um, and maybe some way, somehow, to be motivation for us as we push forward. But I don't want to take. I'm just so proud of those guys and everything that they had, and believing in what it was that we were preaching. Um, and you're one of the program. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Coach.